My name is Nicole Scrivener. We have been learning an inquiry on farming around. So getting to know what a farm is. We've been looking at Aboriginal Australian farming and different methods, looking in particular at fire stick farming. We are at Sturt Street Community Primary School in the Adelaide City. We are quite small in the sense that we only have 150 students. Therefore, as teachers, there's only a few of us and we do work quite closely together. We, in a way, I guess, teaching each other a lot of the time. So today I'm working with my colleague, Jill, and I'm going to help her learn more about the Aboriginal Cultural Studies resource Moodle. At the moment, I don't have any Aboriginal cultural studies happening in my program, so I'm keen to see how I can link into the subjects and topics that we're presently studying. Each one of these inquiry questions is, is, um, goes into a, a full unit outline, I suppose, so it gives you lots of ideas about resources, activities to do, um, future directions that you might take. Brilliant. So, Ju, I'm wondering what, what your, um, your focus, um, inquiry focus is this term. What are you looking at? Um, with students and their outcomes and your term overview? In science, we're looking at a mixture of physics and chemistry, so changes. I have used this um, a lot in my planning and I found it quite useful. We looked at fire stick farming. I was thinking, how we, are we going to then further learning from here? I have contributed to somewhat to the development of this Moodle uh, design and implemented my own unit you know, of inquiry. ...about seasons. It also ties in well with science as well, though, um, looking at... Um, also states of change as well, which we've been doing as well. So it all integrates in some way, shape or form. I think that we can probably draw some comparisons and some links that I haven't been aware of in the past. They did last time. Or that perhaps have just been too difficult to find the resources to, to go off onto that brainstorming pathway. There's different aspects. What I really like about it too is there's a section on web resources that these Aboriginal project officers have um, looked at and critiqued and said, yep, oh, they, they're really right. good ones yes. to use. Yes. So this one was um, popped up uh, that I looked at the other day and I found really useful. Indigenous AFL players, you know, what parts of Australia, what parts of country they come from. So that's got potential with um, ILIT information report it, it on, does. AFL, on AFL players. Definitely, it does. That would be a does. topic for the upper primaries. You could have you your macro group as the AFL players and then you could yes. have Our micro the names. Group as yeah, individual ones. Into, that's really, that's a wonderful idea. A few weeks ago we went to the art gallery and, and looked at the colonial art exhibition. There were a lot of uh, artworks that were presenting Aboriginal people from those times and I would have like to have felt that I had some sort of authoritative backup to be talking about those with the students. So I can see that this is going to be a springboard into me feeling more confident to present that sort of topic and that debate in the classroom. And just then it goes on, you know, how are the students going to get there? So this is a lot to do with that backward um, design planning yes. that we've been yes. using in maths and science ourselves as yes. well. I think that when I go about designing my lessons now, I'll try to be including more of these open-ended questions and research type learning that the children can go off and follow. What are you doing at the moment in regards to maths? In say? maths at the moment we're doing measurement. We can uh, all go off and learn more and then come back and report as a class. Um, and it's talking about with the time investigating the ways time was and is measured in different um, Aboriginal countries such as using tidal change, so that using the environment to help. Well, that will certainly be one of our topics, so I'm sure that we can include that. Oh, OK, wonderful. I am passionate about it. I do believe it's really important to integrate it on a daily basis. And so to be able to share that with another colleague and then see the response that um, she's also then enthused and motivated to include it in future, it, it's a really nice feeling. You're going to have to choose your sequence. Us as colleagues working together, bouncing ideas off each other, it advantages the children and us. Oh.